able to create a navigation that has a basically a horizontal line above and or below the menu items. So we have two menus here. This is basically a default project menu that you can find in Editor X. And this is also another default menu that you can find in Editor X. And we are going to show you how to create something like this uh, very simply by literally just dragging and dropping one of the already pre-made menus that Editor X has into our project. So let's go ahead and go to our plus here. And as you can see, there's a ton of menu options that we have. We have horizontal menus, we have anchor menus, vertical menus, and hamburger menus. What we have for this one over here, if we take a look at this, this is just the basic horizontal one right here with just custom hover, clicked, and regular colors. So we've changed those. Now here, what we've done is we've used this menu right here, and we've dragged this right here. And so what you can see here is these come in automatically with a already, we're on the home page, so that's why there's that black bar there. Now to change the colors, what we can do here is we're going to click on this settings here, and we're going to go ahead and go to our design tab, and we have access to all of these different settings that we can change. And we also have the ability to change the regular state, the hover state, and the click state. So right now we are on the home page. So what we're going to be editing here is the clicked state of this. And as you can see, when we click to each one of these pieces here, you can see that the menu actually changes because it's showing us what the state looks like um, in terms of which state we have selected. So when these are clicked, let's say I'm going to basically reproduce what we have here. So we're going to change this color to a light pink for the border. And we can also change the color we're also going to set this to a light pink. So that is what our state will look like when it is clicked. Now let's go to hover. For this, what we want to have is we do not want a border. So we're going to make sure that this is to zero. And our text, we're just going to set that to white. So on hover, we will have white text. Now regular, what we want is we're going to actually set these so that they look a little grayed out and we are just going to keep the theme and the fonts and the, the font size as it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like. We're going to go ahead and preview. And so on hover, just like we have here, we have white text. It goes from gray to white, but then when we click them, now do mind you that we're going to be on a different page that's totally blank. Um, <laughs> so let's go ahead and go back to our home page. Actually, what we'll do here is we are just going to set this to a black background so we can actually see the menu and we're going to actually let's go back to our home page and what we're going to do is we're going to replace we're going to delete this menu and we're just going to leave this here and we're going to center it in our header just like this horizontal and vertically aligned we're going to go to preview we have all of our setup so this is our clicked state we have that pink bar, we have that pink text, and we have our hover interactions, the text turns white. Now when I click about, now the bar goes to the about page, and we have the home is now gray, and on hover it is white. So that is how we get a bar, or uh, basically this sort of style for a Editor X navigation bar. So I hope that answers your question, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, there's so much more Editor X content here on the channel, so if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more Editor X content, and I will see you in some more educational pieces of content to help you create your amazing pieces of web design. So with that said, also feel free to join our Discord down below in the description for you to join amazing creators like yourself to learn even more about Editor X. And uh, with that said, Brandon Gross, your favorite designer, host, and Editor X mastermind, out.